What's up guys and welcome back. We have another Rome 2 multiplayer battle for you today and we are playing as the Seleucids in this battle ourselves. We are also allied with Carthage which is over there and we are against Rome and the Iceni. Two very strange alliances. I guess you could say that Carthage has got uh, the Seleucids to help against their rival Rome and the Romans have hired some Celtic mercenaries to help fight them but I don't know, we'll we'll go with some sort of uh, scenario like that, but we will quickly check out the Seleucid army, my army, while we wait for the two armies to collide. We have uh, two units of Median Cavalry, two units of Hellenic Cataphracts, four units of Syrian Heavy Archers, I'm pretty sure, because they can spam them out, this, uh, the Seleucids, which is, I guess, one of their positives. They get the best archers and they get to spam them out. They also ha I also brought two, three units of Thoros Spears, uh, the third one over there and we have two units of silver shield swordsmen my elite soldiers for this battle they will be uh, d probably my reserves and the deciding factor in this battle I also have my general royal pale tasks and I think four units of uh, thorax swords and two units of thorax pikes so we'll quickly go through the Carthaginian army um, which is basically made up of lots of light Carthaginian hoplites mercenary noble fighters um, the general is just a general's bodyguard. We have elephants, of course, as Carthage. You have to bring elephants. And we have Mercery Celtic Light Horse along with Numidian, uh, Mercery Numidian Cavalry over here. And some more, uh, oh, and some Mercery Iberian Cavalry. A, mi a good mix. Um, Rome is bringing an interesting mix of uh, units as well. He's got Auxiliary Cavalry, some pretty strong Cavalry, and he also has some Praetorian Cavalry, again, even stronger. He also has Auxiliary Infantry, which is an interesting choice um, when I saw these guys on the battlefield. I guess they're some of the best spears that Rome can bring. But, um, I mean, they're still not great. I mean, look, they look pretty damn good, though. I will not, I will not lie. Ooh, they do not look too bad. They are uh, men from the provinces, but, I mean, they're not, they're not the greatest. I'd rather bring more legionaries like he's got here. A lot of armoured legionaries, um, along with Praetorians in the rear. Uh, his reserves, like you imagine, and he's brought auxiliary Balearic slingers and auxiliary Syrian archers, which is the wisest move to do as Rome with missiles. Um, the Iceni has brought um, a lot of heroic riders, including his general being one of them. Uh, chariots, which are very dangerous and annoying to deal with. He also has missiles, which are getting into range, it would seem, uh, to fight uh, Carthage. He's got a lot of Briton slingers, four units, four units of them he's brought a lot of chosen spear band, um, four units of them, and he's got a lot of painted ones, four units of them as well, and two heroic, four, actually no, four heroic nobles all on the flanks. So, um, we're getting close to the battle now, I think. We have a cavalry standoff between the Seleucid, uh, myself, the Seleucids, and the auxiliary cavalry here, supported by spears, so which I was um, aware of, so I started to move up my own Thoros spears here, as you can see, and a uh, second unit, and I was also deciding to send in Syrian archers. But here we go, we're getting a charge as we speak now between uh, these Median cavalry going in against the auxiliary cavalry. So this will be melee versus melee, so they should be fairly evenly matched. Um, we, my my guy gets through the battle and he's, uh, well, through the initial engagement and he's in the, in the rear, stabbing some people up. Um, but while that's happened, we also have uh, Hellenic Cataphracts going, and I also have Hellenic Cataphracts going in the rear here, doing a nice charge, getting the uh, auxiliary infantry. I mean, look at that. They've already taken like seven guys out in the initial charge. It's going down. They lo lose it decisively. They've lost nearly 20 guys. And I'm, as you can see, I'm preparing a second charge to just finish them once and for all. And they're already breaking. So, I mean, here we go. One final charge. Kill these aux auxiliaries off, you would have thought. And that'll be them broken off the battlefield. It's their spear. Their spear support is already gone, so that was what I was worried about. And now we can finish killing these cavalry off, which I can do. I I have better cavalry than all of them. I mean, there's auxiliaries coming into the rear. You can see here to support um, his arch is also going up now. He's mobilising them. I also have my Thoros spears throwing javelins, and I wasn't really wanting them to do that. I wanted them to just go in and just use their spears and kill people because my Median cavalry are getting chewed up. Uh, but we have broken his auxiliaries and his Praetorians, so he's left with auxiliary cavalry. And he's now dragging in spears here, which is a risky move by him. And he's turning around and running away. He's realised that the battle is lost here, and he's he's fleeing. And uh, we're cutting down these auxiliaries here nicely, getting some easy kills. And there we go. 
I'm not even. I'm like. I'm happy to mop these guys up, get some extra kills, a bit more experience, and then uh, just slowly move everything forward. I'm here, my archers now to move forward and uh, match and take out his archers, um, and the rest of my army is kind of is moving up slowly. It's not really even moved. I mean, the Thorax pikemen here. I'm not happy with this. What's going on here? But I mean, on the other side, uh, it looks like. It looks like a uh, Carthage with his mercenary crease and archers are getting shredded by the Braille Eric's slingers. I mean, look at the amount of deaths here. I'm not quite sure. This is such a waste. Such an elite unit, and uh, they're getting absolutely chewed up. So, I mean, he's losing the skirmish battle himself. But my uh, auxiliary. Well, my uh, Syrian archers are actually killing the auxiliaries off quite nicely, I think. We're doing a better job. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know, actually. It's fairly even. But, I mean, I'm positioning. We well, now have the superiority in cavalry just. Um, with my army alone, I think we have it because it, they only have two units of heroic nobles. I sh yeah, and one of them being his or heroic riders, and one of them being his uh, general. So he won't want to commit that. And he has chariots. We are breaking the uh, auxiliary Belaric slingers now. I mean, and we have the infantry line behind getting ready. They're uh, preparing for the the advance of the thorax swords and then the spears. And here we go. I'm trying to get my. My men in cavalry in there, and they, I mean, they get shredded, just like that. I mean, these poor guys, look at him, he's like, I'm going to get there! Oh, I'm dead. No. Um, but I mean, yeah, so we, that was unfortunate. I kind of wasted them. I could have used that unit as a sacrifice unit elsewhere. But I was looking at um, his general. I was going to try and commit the line forward in a minute, and uh, I'm pretty sure for infantry, it's about to move forward. And I was then going to commit on my cavalry. In a bit of a suicide charge to kill the general. Um, it's a bit of a waste because I know I have the superiority. I could use it elsewhere. But I mean, it's not actually him. It's, it's him. He's going to commit. He's bringing the infantry line forward. Here we go. It's the armored legionaries to go first. And here they, in they come. I'm pretty sure I haven't committed yet. Because I'm like, well, there's a long way for him to go. Actually, you can see the distance there. The men are the men are marching forward. The Thoros spears and everything. They're going forward. But um, And I have lost some... Uh, Syrian archers of my own, but I'm not too worried. Carthage being very slow in pushing forward, he's still... I mean, so I'm a bit worried. I was, I'm pretty sure I was insisting on my teammate to start moving forward um, because, well, I didn't really want to get two teams. I didn't want the IC to be able to send troops forward to help support uh, Rome if necessary. So we have the infantry line. The infantry, infantry clash has now happened. And uh, it's time for the Thorax Swords to prove their worth. I'm even setting in my silver shields already. I'm sending these guys in to get, get some kills. I mean, they're flanking nicely on the, these uh, armored legionaries, which are kind of all over the place. Don't really know what's going on there. But now the cavalry's going. The cavalry's going for the for the assassination attempt. Not who I wanted. Not who I wanted. I want these guys. Come on. Can I have those guys? Thank you. The assassination attempt on the general. Can we get him? Who knows? Where is where is the Roman general? I I also apologise if I'm sniffling, uh, because I do have picked up a bit of a cold, um, so um, so yeah, you just have to deal with that unpleasantry. Uh, but yes, there he is in the back, the general. We'll get that guy. We'll get him. I'm sure of it. But um, how badly is the general being up? He's lost about half his unit. I mean, they're sending in some heroic nobles and Praetorians to try and kill this. Try and deal with these cavalry, and I'm just like, well, these cavalry are dead. They're just gone. There's no way I'm getting these guys out of here. So, um, so I'm just like, leave them in. Try and kill the general, and we'll try and uh, survive another day. This cavalry unit has gone out. I mean, it's pretty beat up though still. But we are breaking the Romans here. They now have auxiliary infantry defending this entire flank, so I can whip round this flank very soon and get some nice kills. I mean, but you can see heroic noble heroic riders here. Getting ready for their own charge. Not who I wanted again, but we're gonna we're gonna as you can see I'm sending in these cavalry to charge the heroic riders. The sacrifice will be taken. It's 18 against 60. They are they're not expected to win. And we'll and we'll i I'll say that much. And there's now chariots coming in, they're gonna throw their javies. I mean I think these guys are probably gonna break uh, before it even happens. But I mean as you can see here, the general is dead. Hazar, we've killed Rome's general, but his sacrifice two units of cavalry to do so, which is a bit of a shame, but it was needed. My uh, infantry are doing very well. My pikes here have murdered the Romans. Poor bastards. They are getting cut down. But it was worth it. And now, uh, I mean, I'm just mopping up what's left of Rome's infantry on this side, anyway. This side is holding a bit stronger. They have the elite Praetorian guards, but I mean, if you can see here, they're losing to uh, Royal Peltasts. I mean, they're getting just cut down by archers in the rear. And 
I mean, here we go. Carthage is mobilized. I forgot. I'm so sorry. We've missed the uh, initial charge. But we have uh, Chosen Spearband against Libyan Infantry um, and Mercenary Samonite Warriors. So, they, I mean, Spears against Swords, they should win eventually, even if they are so elite. I mean, the Painted Ones as well will probably cut through them because they are only medium swords. They are kind of more flanking units, not front line. So you should really be mobilizing those guys to get round Carthage's flanks. But here we go. The chariots are being mobilized. Can they get some kills? I mean, I don't know where they're going. They're going to look like they don't care if they kill friend or foe because they're going after the Romans as well. I mean, maybe they're just like, well, we've had enough of these Romans as well. We're going to kill them along with the Seleucids. We don't care. And there we go. Some of them already died. Charging at the pikes, even with chariots, not good. I'm not sure how this guy is still alive, but he is. Um, and I'm sure, yes, that's killed a few Romans along with a few Seleucids. But do I care? Not really. Um, just, yeah, cut, chop these guys down. Come on, how is he not dead? He's not even throwing his javi. But yes, they've got out. And they've run, cut down a few more Romans and saluted. So, I mean, that's fine. They can kill a few of each. Um, that's perfectly fine with me. And nice little charge here. Getting these uh, these archers with these uh, light Celtic swords. Uh, horse. I mean, so that they're very handy for just getting in and sneaking out again. Get some archer kills. I mean, you probably got another one. Because I'm holding up all the... Uh, most of the cavalry with, I don't know, really with what, to be honest, a lot of infantry. He's sending all his infantry and I mean, we're breaking his auxiliary spears finally. I mean, I have just lost his thorax. Actually, no, I didn't. I don't know why I just lost, actually. Might have been thorax spears. Yes, I just lost thorax spears. But we are cutting down these uh, auxiliaries and they've just about broken, I think. And we can then surround these Praetorians and we have this entire flank. Carthage is doing fairly well against, uh, against Iceni. It looks like he's winning on most fronts there's a huge clog up of infantry here he really needs to get these guys these sacred band round and get maybe his general in behind and he could do some damage uh, but he needs to be careful but here we go the elephants are doing their damage in the, in the rear with against the painted ones I mean these poor buggers they're not gonna do much they're gonna get absolutely destroyed and they've got no armor as it is they're just gonna get impaled on the tusks um, so yes hopefully they hopefully those elephants can do a lot of damage they shouldn't they're not really being focused down with archers. We've dealt with most of their archers. There's no flaming shots to do a lot of damage. And here we go. Pikes are now going into support against these Praetorians. I've had enough. These Praetorians are taking too long to break and they're going to die. We've also got mercenary noble fighters that came over to help support kill these final Romans. But now I have a decent mass of infantry that can help kill this, these final, uh, these final uh, Romans. That's, what I was, that's the word I was looking for. The final Romans. The Praetorian Guard. The elite of the elite. And they're getting stabbed up with pikes. It's a... It's a... Not a very glorious end, but it's one that must be done. I mean, I'm now fighting the heroic nobles over here. I, I see the alarm to commit their own units to help try and stop me breaking through and attacking their rear. And as we can see in the rear over... The, in the back over there, the elephants doing some damage. They've lost a few of them now. We've got reinforcements, more her heroic nobles. Or Actually, are they called heroic nobles? Yeah, they are called heroic nobles. What are the cavalry called then? Heroic riders. Don't know why I was getting their names mixed up. But yes, heroic nobles now coming in. And I'm now going to just cut these guys down with my general. I mean, I don't know really why I'm still sending him in. I really should just keep him in reserve. He's very, very beaten up. But I don't care. I'm going to keep him in. And there we go. We can have a look at this, this battle line. It's beautiful. And they're, they're pretty much done for the ICD over here. I mean, as soon as I uh, destroy the Praetorian Guard here, I've got a lot more units I can mobilize and surround these guys with. Um, uh, I mean, Carthage looks like he's basically mopped up most of what's the ICD's left. Their main defense is here. And they really... This is a big no-no. Uh, if anyone new play Rome 2, big no-no. Don't just do this. Try and spread your units out. Like, you don't want to have this many men in reserve uh, not fighting. You want to try and spread your units out and then get them in. I mean, he's sorted that out now for these guys. But, I mean, over here, you want these guys engaged in the Sacred Band. Because look what's happening now. He's just getting surrounded. He wants to spread his units out, engage as many units as possible. So he doesn't get this whole blob surrounded. Which is now being now. Uh, now being now. Now is being uh, surrounded and cut down. And these, I mean, you don't want uh, these painted ones as a reserve line either. They should be in the front, taking most of the fire. Um, because they, they last a long time with morale, but they've not got a lot of armor. Um, so they get killed quite easily. And look at that. They're just being pushed through. Car uh, Carthage is doing an excellent job here. I mean, 
the cavalry here trying to kill the sacred band trying to do is doing an okay job but i mean it's possibly a little too late we they do have most of the cavalry now but cavalry's not going to really matter we've got pikes we've got a lot of infantry i don't know why i'm not sending these guys in um i don't know what i was doing to be honest at this point but, i mean these pikes here they're gonna have a field day cutting down these heroic nobles well i say that they're kind of getting flanked here so that's not good so i'm having to send here we go finally sending these last last pikes in We've Syrian heavy archers versus Briton slingers. Who's gonna, who's gonna win the battle of the archers? My money's on the Briton slingers because they have more numbers. Yeah, and they're already breaking my archers. Well, that's, well, if you put your money on the Briton slingers, you're probably gonna get your money back and a bit more. Oh, unlucky pal. Yep, yeah, you just got cut down. As an archer, you're just like, I shouldn't be up here fighting. I mean, both sides are probably thinking, what the heck are we doing fighting each other? We should be at the back throwing missiles or firing missiles in the case of the Syrians. And there they go. They're running. Running like cowards. You cowards. But anyway, yes, I'm still... Uh, it looks like all my Syrian heavy archers are breaking now. I mean, they've had enough. They're like, well, we fought enough. But we're breaking the heroic nobles, which is a huge, huge thing. I repositioned these pikes. So they, uh, so they, they get, uh, so they don't get outflanked. That's what I'm looking for. That's the words I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, they're already breaking. That's one gone. Now it's the next one. They're wavering. They're losing slightly. They're breaking. And then it's basically just the general left. I mean, there's surround poor guys over here. Look at that. Look at that. That's a last stand. If there, if I haven't seen one. Yeah, and they're trying to break out. I mean. Yeah, they're getting out, but I mean, so many of them are going to get cut down when they get out. It's some nice, easy kills. How are you missing javelin throws from there? I'd just like to say Carthaginians. How are you missing javelin throws? But I mean, the general's gone in for one last charge here on the uh, Mercenary Samurai Warriors and Sacred Bands. This is probably a suicide charge if not, if I haven't seen one. We got some. We actually have some heroic nobles. They seem to have rallied. Uh, they're getting sandwiched. Oh dear. They are getting sandwiched by Thorox Pikes. Well... This is a pretty brutal way to go. I would, I mean, just like not even be able to fight. You just got to avoid being stabbed by a pike. It's like um, in the Battle of the Bastards when the Boltons surround the uh, men beyond the wall. It's just trying to avoid a spear and just last. It's like survival of the fit. Well, it's not even survival of the fit. It's fish in a barrel. Um, but yes, now it's basically all the men are breaking. I mean, these heroic nobles have returned again, but they'll just break as soon as they get there. So we're going to fast forward now. The battle is almost over. And it's going to be a victory for the Seleucids and Carthaginians. And I lost my general at some point. I think both of us lost our general. I didn't even realise. Um, I mean, my general did do a bit of a stupid charge into some heroic nobles, so I'm not surprised. I presume the uh, Carthaginian general just charged in and got killed. I did not see that. I don't think I saw it in the battle or the replay how he died. Well, that was a good volley there. I mean, that's unfortunate. I mean, poor heroic nobles just getting murdered. And then the general's returned once more, but he's he's surely going to die. Here, who's he going to go for? Let's see. Let's do. Let's see this one last charge. Brave last charge into. Actually, let's just let's just fast forward. I was I was expecting him to charge in, but he's just running around avoiding anyone at this point. Oh, he's coming for me, of course. Of course, let's let's watch it from his perspective. Men, you have fought well, but it is time to time to die. Death and honor into pikes. Oh, actually no, he's avoided the pikes ever so slightly. I mean, those guys haven't over there. But I mean, that is that's just not a good way to go. And yeah, charging the pikes not a good idea. We killed a few, but I mean, I think the general might be dead. I'm not really sure. If he's not, he's about to. But yeah, they're now in prolonged melee. These these cavalry are just going to get cut down and killed. And especially with pikes on the scene. I mean, the look at the Carthaginians trying to flank them. They're like, we'll try and be sneaky with our entire army and flank around them. No, they, they, he knows what you're doing. And there he goes. One last charge. Get a few last kills. Imagine being a Carthaginian at this point and just going, I've survived the battle. And then there's just one, one mad charge from the Celts. And you're dead. Anyway, that was a costly victory, and it probably was. We, I lost most of my army, and the Carthaginians didn't come off lightly either. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the battle results. So, 
My cavalry doing okay. They definitely could have got more kills, but I did send them into some suicide charges to get some kills against like the general for Rome, which certainly helped in the long run in getting some kills and um, in breaking their units. Like certainly the Praetorians would have lasted a lot longer if the general was still around. Um, my general getting 120 kills almost. Excellent by him. Some of my Syrian heavy archers are getting over 100 kills, which is excellent uh, stats for archers. They don't usually get that many kills, but they did in this scenario. It's great. My silver swords, I mean, this one didn't even get 50. That's a bit of a waste of money, but this one did get over 100. So that's great. My pikes getting over 150 each. Very good investment to bring pikes uh, as solutions. My thorax swords, doing very, thorax swords doing very well. And my thorax spears doing okay as well. I mean, I never have great opinions of them, but they seem to have done well in this scenario being flank flankers on and uh, supporting calves that was great um carthage getting 200 odd kills with his elephants that's just expected this mercenary celtic light horse getting uh quite a lot of kills um, his other cavalry not doing so well even his general he must they must have just got like killed by someone else like pretty powerful i do not know his uh, infantry generally doing pretty well all getting most like near 100 kills or over 100 kills apart from like some sacred band but they don't look like they've got any didn't actually get involved in any combat at all and his archers doing okay Rome um, his Praetorians doing his be the best for him I mean obviously getting mainly over 100 uh, and 30 odd kills and some of his armoured legionnaires do equally quite well and his archers did okay but they just got outmatched by mine and his cavalry did all well not awful but they just got overwhelmed by all of my cavalry he just didn't bring enough and his auxiliaries poor auxiliaries getting mown down and the ICD, last but not least, uh, I mean, his general, look at that, 118 kills, there till the end. And his other heroic riders getting a fair amount of kills as well. His chariots did okay. Um, I mean, his spears let him down a lot. They're pretty expensive, and they did not do very well. His uh, slingers did pretty well for the cost that they are. They're pretty cheap. Uh, certainly that one getting 160 kills did very, very well. And his heroic nobles seemed to do pretty solid. But, I mean, by the time they were mobilized, it was a bit... A little too late they were having to be spread out across the entire line to help fight against me and against Carthage and uh, his painted ones I mean like I said pretty uh, I mean these two definitely fought against the elephants and died trying and you can tell but anyway guys I do apologize for the lack of videos as well that I put up this week I have been away and then I've also been ill um, so hopefully I can get back into it next week um, if you've enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and until next time Legionnaires I will see